Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my lip swatch party for y'all today on my Bite Beauty lipsticks. So I've got several of the Amuse, Amuse Bouche, Amuse Bouche, Amuse Bouche. I don't know how to say that word, but whatever those are called, I've got some of those to show you and I've got some of the multi sticks. I've got a couple of those to show you. So I'm just gonna run through my different shades, show you on my lips, show you on my hand, and just do a little lip swatch party. So let's get into it. So we are starting off on a holy moly Leslie, what the heck were you thinking kind of a color. <laughs> this one is Souffle, and I didn't buy this one to wear it by itself. I bought this one to pair with other things, and it's really pretty in the center of the lips with another like pinky color or even a brown, it can make a really pretty color, a mauve. It's just one that I got for blending purposes and highlighting purposes. Um, it's gorgeous because it's that like super light pink and I just love the formula on these lipsticks. I mean, that's why I have several colors. I have a lot of little ones that I've gotten in like point perks and things like that and gratis. Um, so I have a lot of little ones, but I love the formula on these. It's so creamy, comfortable, long wearing, natural, love, 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 the amuse-bouche, amuse-bouche lipsticks. Next up is Thistle, and this is such a cool edgy shade. It's really just kind of like a purpley gray mauve sort of a shade. I love this one because it's so different. Um, if you like Gone Grage from Maybelline. I think you would love this one. Obviously, this is a more expensive version of that one, but it's more natural. I actually haven't ever swatched them side by side to see. I would guess that this one's a little bit more purpley and that that one's a little bit more mauvey brown, but both just really cool edgy lipsticks. So this one is just a really neat color. Love it. This one's definitely one of my favorites. This is Sugar Cane, and this is a really pretty kind of like pinky peachy sort of a color. I guess some people would maybe categorize this as a nude, but I mean, it's really more of like a peachy pink, uh, but it's a great everyday sort of color. Like it's gonna go with a lot of different makeup looks. It's very just kind of like fresh and girly looking. So it's a great kind of everyday, beautiful shade. I really, really like this one. And this one I wear a lot. If you like pinky mobs, I think you will really enjoy Saki. This one is just a beautiful, kind of muted, I don't know, almost gray toned, sort of um, a pinky mauve. Like it has a little bit of like a subdued quality to it. It's not like a bright mauve. It's really, really pretty. Um, this is again, one that I think would go with a lot of different makeup looks, um, but it is more dramatic because it's a darker sort of a shade. So it's not like a nude, but um, I feel like it goes with a lot of different makeup looks. So if you like those kind of like mauve sort of shades, this is a great one. It's a very versatile sort of color. And here is your hot pink of the group. This one is kimchi. Now you have to like bright pinks to like this one, but it's not like a neon pink. It's not like um, candy yum yum. It's more of like a bright fuchsia. So, I mean, there are brighter colors in this, but it is a bright pink. But it's just a fun color, you know? I mean, I love wearing those kind of bright pinks when I'm feeling a little bit sad or something. Wearing a color like this just kind of instantly lifts my mood because it's a fun time. This one is so beautiful. It's one of my favorites too. This is Radish and it is just a gorgeous, like berry wine fuchsia sort of a color, kind of like right in between. So it's bright but it's also a little bit berry, so it's fun for fall. It's such a pretty shade. I love this one, fall and winter, just holidays, anything. So beautiful, love, love, love radish. It's one of my very favorites of the group. This is the only red that I have from this line. This is Gazpacho. I got this one like in a point perk or something, and it is a really pretty red. Like it's a, I don't know, what would I say? Just like a classic red. Yeah, like right in between. Not super um, warm tone, not super cool tone. If anything, I would say maybe leaning a little bit cool tone, but um, you know, compared to like a more pinky color, it's definitely a red. And just a beautiful classic red, really, really gorgeous. This one's a beautiful chocolatey brown color. This one's molasses and it's so gorgeous. I think I've said that about every single shade, but this one is 
one of my favorites. And I got this in gratis from Sephora and I'm so glad I did because it's a color I might not have looked at. I probably would have overlooked it, but I love it because it's so like edgy, but still beautiful and it's creamy and pigmented and perfect. These are all creamy and pigmented and perfect. I mean, it really does not take a lot of building with these to get like full color, but they're also so comfortable. They're amazing. Now onto my two multi-sticks. This first one is Gelato. This is a really cool, interesting sort of color. It kind of reminds me of Thistle, which Thistle is over here, and there is Gelato on the end here. Kind of reminds me of Thistle, except it's less gray, more of just a light lavender sort of color, but it still has that kind of like edgy sort of a vibe to it, you know? Really, really beautiful. So I think it is a neutral, but kind of an edgy neutral. And I think it would pair really nicely with a cool tone look, but also balance out a warm toned eye look. I kind of have like a mix on my eyes right now. Um, but you know what I mean? Like I think it's a versatile, edgy, different sort of color. Really like this one a lot. Then we have Almond, and this one is a gorgeous, like warm toned, brick red, sort of a brown color is how I would describe it. So you can see it next to molasses. Molasses is more kind of like a cool toned chocolatey sort of color. And this one has that kind of like terracotta, red brick kind of a tone to it. So beautiful, love this one. This one's one of my very favorites of my Bite Beauty collection. Um, just a gorgeous, unique sort of a color. Goes really well with, this is extra bitter in my crease from, um, the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics, so I think that like pairs really nicely with it. It's just a different, really interesting sort of a brown color. Really, really like this one. Um, as far as the multi-sticks go, I really like them too. I think they have a great formula, not as hydrating as the Amuse Bouche lipsticks, I would say, um, but I think I, that they made them a little bit drier because they can be used on your cheeks and eyes as well, so I think that's why they did that. Technically, you can use any lipstick on your cheeks. I do it all the time, like as a touch up in the car. Um, but this one seems to be like specifically formulated for that. One negative I would say is the shape of the little bullet makes it hard to apply. Not impossible, but not as easy to apply as just a traditionally shaped lipstick bullet. All right guys, so that wraps up this lip swatch party. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what your favorite shade was that I showed or if you have another favorite shade that maybe I don't own and I need to check out, let me know that down below as well. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.